The Minnesota State Supreme Court will hear oral arguments today over whether former President Donald Trump should be kept off the Minnesota ballot come 2024. So the lawsuit sparking this case cites the insurrection clause in the 14th Amendment of the Constitution as grounds for disqualifying the former president. Our Pauline Lee joining us live outside of St. Paul, the Minnesota Judicial Center, with a closer look at how this case could actually set a new precedent for American democracy. Pauline, good morning. Hey, good morning to you both. Normally I'd be at the state capitol talking to you about these types of hearings, but because there was so much interest in this one, this one had to be moved over to the Judicial Center for more space where oral arguments are set to begin at 10 o'clock this morning. It's a big deal. We're headed into new legal territory as this is the first time in American history that we've had a lawsuit like this one. So again, that insurrection clause, it was originally created to address issues following the Civil War. So questions that the court will have to consider include what is an insurrectionist. Does this clause, is it still valid today, and does it even apply to former presidents? Also, what could this mean for presidential elections going forward? If Donald Trump is excluded from the ballot here, what's to prevent another court in another state from saying that something that maybe Joe Biden did makes him an insurrectionist, and therefore he can be excluded from appearing on the ballot. Now, there's also a similar lawsuit that's being heard right now in Colorado at their state Supreme Court. Schultz says some are also raising concerns that this type of case is taking away your right as an American citizen to vote. So we'll take a closer look at that. And we'll also take a look at when we could possibly hear a decision coming from the courts coming up in about half an hour, guys. And not only that, but this could, case could all the way go to the U.S. Supreme Court, right. too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So again, today they're going to be deciding, you know, do we even have jurisdiction right. to even hear this case? If they come back and say, no, we don't, they dismiss this case, it could be appealed and make its way all the way to the Supreme Court. The yeah. same goes for that mm -hmm. case in Colorado. So one of those two cases right. could be making its way to the high court. Yeah, right. Colorado just a little bit ahead of us because yep. they said they can hear it in, mm -hmm. in their jurisdiction. All right, Pauline, lots of big issues here. Thank you. You can stream today's arguments live. You can do it on our streaming service, CBS News Minnesota. Again, as Pauline mentioned, starts at 10 a.m.